Hi, I'm Juliana Moffitt, and my portfolio is on the old cartoons. Uh, I chose this because I got obsessed with Flusher Studios during quarantine. Uh, I decided to research specifically um, like the history and evolution of old cartoons, um, mostly focusing on Flusher Studios. I actually had an interview with Mark and Susan Flesher, uh, the owners of Flesher Studios right now, and Mark Flesher is actually the grandson of Max Flesher, who was the founder of the studios and creator of Betty Boop. Um, uh, my artifact was an animation with me in different cartoon styles going through the decades of like different years or something. Um, and then uh, for my service, I decided to collect money and give it away to a young artist donation um, at Jerry's Artorama. Uh, I had many challenges, mainly focusing on time management, but uh, luckily I was able to learn from that. And now I know, you know, to have a plan before. Um, I'd like to thank my family and my mentor more uh, for their help, especially Miss Spencer and the Flushers for the amazing interview and the amazing gifts. Thank you. I've always loved space, and when I first started, I just wanted to do a project on everything space related. I realized this would not work, so I decided to start with the basics. I wondered about alternative food source for astronauts, and so I had my question. What is a sustainable food source astronauts could grow and use to sustain life? I first scoured the internet for different sources and did not have to look far. The research I had done was not many others had done. Um, there are few sources to pick from, but the ones I did find were scholarly and informed. One of the articles I found was written about the research of a NASA scientist, Trent Smith. I was able to gain contact with him and I was able to get an interview on Zoom. For my artifact, I decided to create a fully functioning hydroponic farm from scratch. I first obtained ideas from different websites and settled on A-frame model. My dad and I worked on the A-frame and then put J-hooks and PVC pipes in the hook. I drilled three inch holes in the pipes, creating enough space for the plants, and then went to work on the reservoir. I used a large rectangular um, tank, normally used for storage to hold the water. I mounted air pump on top, a water pump in the reservoir, and an air stone hooked up to the air pump. We hooked up all the pipes, the pumps, and the stone using a uh, one-fourth inch concrete. For my service, I helped NASA identify possible stars around the universe. I accessed a website disk detective and observed different pictures taken from different telescopes of the same thing to locate possible stars. I would slow the slideshow down, speed up, and invert the colors to make the best possible observation. If I thought that set of pictures looked extremely promising, I would report it using a form and look through a series of websites to find more information on that particular celestial body. One of the challenges of my project was lack of information. I was doing research in fields that had only been started to be researched. I also had to, um, I had also to infer much of the information that I gained. I was able to put in more pieces of the puzzle through my interview. The hunt for good websites was hard, but in the end, I was able to piece together the different sources to create a good paper. I have learned much from this project. Not only have I done research and fields barely touched by, I have learned to uh, persevere through hardship and not give up. It was a wonderful learning experience I will look on back on for the rest of my life. It's taught me many important skills like dedication and having an indomitable spirit. I would like to thank my mom for all her help on my paper, my dad for all, and for my dad for all the good skills I learned from. I'd also like to thank Miss Lancaster and Miss Geary for the, all their help, dedication, and kindness they put in to my project. Lastly, I would like to thank Ms. Lockhart and all my friends for the kindness and the support they have given me. Hi, my name is Greta Witt and I did my portfolio project on pollution prevention. When I was resor researching for my research paper, I found many helpful articles on National Geographic. And I got an interview with a lady named Trish Trisha Johnson who works with the Nature Conservancy. For my service project, I helped clean up lakes and rivers nearby Knoxville, and I worked with IMS River Rescue Program. For my artifacts, I built this little neighborhood that runs on solar panels. 
and I created this poster which shows pros and cons of different clean energy resources. Some challenges from this project were the time, the amount of time that was given to write our research paper made it very difficult to finish. And I had a terrible time procrastinating with my artifact. I would like to thank my parents for all of their help. I did my project on the history and evolution of criminal profiling. I picked this because I have concluded that I want to be a Federal Bureau of Investigation or FBI profiler when I become an adult, but I wanted to know more about the field. I thought that researching this topic would be both fun and educational. What is the history behind, behind criminal profiling and how has it evolved to the way we know of it today? I researched six different websites, each one uniquely helpful, and interviewed one person, Jerry Spoon. Mr. Spoon was incredibly helpful in helping me understand how everything works. He is the Chief of Criminal Investigation at the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. For my artifact, I drew a background of a cafe and used some of my brother's Legos to create a stop motion video with a riddle I created. Um, for my service project, I have raised enough money by having all four grades in the middle school compete in a penny war. A penny war is a, co a competition to raise money by putting your pennies in your grade's jug. If you put silver coins in other grades' jugs to cancel out money, then their pennies get canceled. Yeah. <laughs> and the grade that at the end with the least amount of canceled out pennies wins. I brought in uh, some donuts for the winners. The money I raised went to a nonprofit organization dedicated to saving the lives of retired canine police dogs. This organization is called Project Canine Hero. I had many challenges whilst creating this project, including making my stop motion. It was very monotonous to place every single photo in the exact position I wanted them to be. In conclusion, I would like to thank Mr. Spoon for the amazing interview and Mr. Jim, the security officer at my school, for being my mentor throughout the making of my project. This project will help me in the future because I want to become a profiler, so knowing more about my future occupation has helped me greatly. Well, my name is Miles Emerson and my portfolio project was on the Global War on Terror. The Global War on Terror was a conflict spanning from 2001 after 9-11 to the present. For my artifact, I did a map of Iraq, Afghanistan, and Pakistan, and where major battles were fought. For my service project, I worked on um, letters for veterans and shipped them off to Operation Gratitude. For my interview, I interviewed Warrant Officer Brian Rogers, who fought in the Navy during the war in Paris. Um, I would like to give special thanks to Ms. Rogers, who I interviewed, Ms. Lancaster, the teacher. Mr. Greeley, my mentor, my mother for all our help, and um, yeah, thank you. Hello, my name is Tiger Lada, and my portfolio project is on the history of Dungeons and & Dragons and how it has affected pop culture. I chose Dungeons & Dragons because I have always had an interest in, with it. You play a character in a fictional universe, and uh, the rules are made by the Dungeon Master. I wanted to know why and how it has affected pop culture. I researched the official websites and history of the game by going on different websites of the creators of D&D and the now owners. Every D&D game has a campaign to show the story. For my artifact, I have made a map and a, camp a written down campaign. D&D has a lot of acting and I have my skill of acting from working at the Knoxville Children's Center. I am having a donation drive from the fundraise for a fundraiser for the Knoxville Children's Theater. Helping the theater was difficult for getting people to donate items. The, the most challenging thing was the campaign because it was very long. I've enjoyed learning the history um, and the rules of this amazing game. This will help me play D&D in the future. Hi, my name is Haley Baker and for my portfolio project, I did the benefits of ASL. And um, my motivation behind this was when I was younger, um, we did songs in ASL, and I always found it really fun and fascinating. And so I wanted to dig deeper into the research, and it led to my main question of whose sign language benefits. And so for my artifact, I did these laser-cut wooden letters, and I painted them with some paint pens, and then I painted this canvas and the letters to make this, like, basically a little chart, um, so it displays all of the um, letters in ASL. Um, for my service project, I um, made a video for the elementary schoolers to watch that taught them ASL, 
and explain to it a, a little bit more to them because I found it really fascinating and I just thought it would be really um, fun. And they got pencils and coloring sheets and they got to watch the video and practice like spelling out their name. And um, the challenges that I faced during this project, um, it was definitely hard to meet some of the deadlines and um, the artifact definitely takes a lot of work. But overall, um, I thought this project was really fun and I really enjoyed learning a lot about it. And it's cool because you get to like just learn about your own interests. And I'd like to thank all my teachers and my family for helping me with this project. My name is Thomas. My service project was about the show, um, hit show Expedition Unknown. Um, uh, me and my mom have been watching this show ever since like season three and it's really helped us get closer as a family and even my sister started to, started to watch it so we've watched every single episode old and new my method of research was basically just i guess google but um there was only so much of it so it was getting kind of hard to track down new kinds of research and know if it's true or not but um i but somehow by the grace of god i found a way but and my artifact is right here it is a recreation of a dig site from the show archaeology you know so you can see crystals shark's teeth more shark's teeth fake fossils equipment stuff like that and um and my service project was basically to teach the little kids that archaeology isn't really just digging in the dirt it's about uncovering the past so we don't um uh, recreate the new or recreate the same mistakes over and over again um, uh, one, one of my challenges was definitely the research again, because we had to fill at least 60 note cards with like one bit of information for each thing. And since, and again, since there was so much information, eh, that can that became a little bit hard. In conclusion, I am glad I did the portfolio because I know it will pre prepare me for high school and for and later in life. And overall, it was a great experience. Hi, my name is Grace, and I did my project on homelessness. I wanted to expand my knowledge on their struggles, and I wanted to know how people become homeless and how they get out of homelessness. For this research, I read many online articles, but I also read an autobiography by Michael Galden. I also had the honor of interviewing this author for my research. For my service, I donated my artifact, which, is, which was a painting, to people assisting the homeless also known as PATH. I would like to thank Miss Lancaster, Miss McIntosh, Miss Quaint, and Father Matt for helping me through this project. Hi, I'm Amelia Opal and my portfolio project topic was Broadway. For my research paper, I wrote mostly about the development of musical theater, the greatest directors on Broadway, and the timeline of Broadway's biggest hits. This is my artifact and um, I built a stage based off of the Broadway uh, musical Hamilton using mostly wood. The, st the set is made out of popsicle sticks and the little people are wood. Um, on the back there's a collage of the four big characters in Hamilton, Angelica, Skyler, um, Eliza, Hamilton, Alexander Hamilton, and George Washington. For my service I helped out with the middle school, play or mus middle school musical Shrek. And um, there were many challenges in this project portfolio, including a lot of um, stress and anxiety caused and late nights up during research papering. And um, I'd like to thank my father who helped me a lot building this and my mother who helped me with my research paper. My name is Connor Daniels and I did my portfolio project on swimming at the Olympic Games. I started out and chose swimming because I'm a swimmer, it's my sport, I do it, I love it, and I figured it would be the perfect thing to talk about. I started off by, for my paper by, do, by doing research on my paper by mainly using online sources and getting credible information from there. And then I also talked to a former Olympian, an Olympic swimmer from the country of Bermuda, Mr. Gary Newitt. He told me a lot of interesting facts and led me through it and helped me talk about it. And then I also, for my artifact, I made this poster, which is a mosaic of uh, pictures of tiny swimmers, all made up to make, all put in this certain pattern to make the Tokyo 2021 Olympic Games logo. Uh, for my service project, I work with the food delivery service Noble Meals, which delivers food to 
elders in our community who need it. And then I didn't really face too many challenges. I would say that creating this was probably the biggest one. It took a lot of time and effort. And then in conclusion, I would like to thank Miss Lancaster, my parents, Mr. T, Miss Winston, Mr. Dr. Talmadge, and yeah, that's all. Hi, my name is Lily Egner, and for my portfolio project, I did the history of ballet. I chose this topic because I love ballet, and it's really important to me. Ballet is a big part of my life, and it always will be. I've been dancing for a long time, and for my research, I wanted to learn about how ballet came to be. When I researched, I used a combination of online and book resources, and I was really lucky to get an interview with Lynn Garofalo, and she was very helpful, and I'm very happy that I got to work with her. And then for my artifact, I made this platter tutu costume. Having never sewn on a sewing machine before, it was quite hard, and I had to overcome a lot of challenges, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. And for my service project, I worked with Angela Floyd's Arts for the Amazing, which is a free dance class for disabled kids. And I was really happy that I could be a part of it, and it was really fun to do. And over the course of this project, I learned a lot, and I had a lot of fun, and I would love to do it again. Hi, my name is Amelia Fielden, and I did my portfolio project on the history of modern dance and Martha Graham. I chose this topic because I have been dancing for a while and love modern dance out of all of the styles. For my service, I demonstrated dance classes at my local dance studio, Dancer Studio. I, for my interview, I interviewed a soloist in the Martha Graham Dance Company, Ann Souter, and a lady who worked with advertising at Jacobs Pillow Dance Company, Patsy Gay. I also read many articles online about modern dance to get more research. For my artifact, I took a leotard and some fabric markers and drew some movements that are taught in the modern dance technique. They are all labeled. So, yeah. I, for, the biggest challenge I had in my portfolio project was my interview. I emailed lots of dance companies and a lot of them turned down the interview, but I got good to, two good ones. In conclusion, I have learned more information about modern dance this year than I knew existed. I would like to thank my parents, my mentor, and Ms. Lancaster for helping me through this great experience. Hi, my name is Chloe Hall and I did my project on the evolution of volleyball. I chose this topic because I love playing volleyball and I thought that it would be a really fun project for me to do for the whole year. And I did my interview with Erin Vertu, who is the assistant Olympic coach on the USA women's volleyball team, the Olympic volleyball team. <laughs> Um, I painted a volleyball with all of the um, countries that participated for volleyball in the Olympics. And for my service, I did Saints Lake Volleyball with the help of Miss Brophy. And my biggest challenge while doing this project was probably procrastinating a lot because I am not very good at <laughs> doing things on time, but yeah. Hi, I'm Nancy, and my portfolio project was on the life of Elvis Presley, and I chose Elvis Presley to be my focus of my portfolio because he was my great-grandmother's best friend, which made him a very important part of my family, and I just felt the need to make my project on him and learn a little more about him. And in order to do this project, I mainly used my research from Graceland and my grandmother's um, diary and journal that she had wrote, and she wrote about him a lot. So I was capable of getting deeper into his life in and outside of his fame. And my artifact is the replica of Graceland, Elvis's former home before he passed away. And I decided I wanna do my artifact because I really wanted to show people how beautiful his home was because it was a really, really, really cool place he lived in, a very a unique place. And so that's what I did. And for my service project for the portfolio, I taught the second graders at ESK some of his songs and we danced and we sang and just had a really fun time. And I also helped ESK with their gala, which was very fun too. And so most of the most challenging thing probably with my portfolio project was I was sick for a while at the very beginning and in the hospital and I had to write my research paper coming back with really um, really a little bit later than most people did. But I ended up getting over doing it and it was actually a really fun experience. And I actually learned more than I thought I would from doing it later on, which was really cool. And so in conclusion, I feel this experience was really fun and I'm really grateful I got to do it because this is gonna help me a lot once I get into high school. 
and I am really thankful that my teacher, Ms. Lancaster, helped me and my parents through all of this. My name is Andrew McClain. I did my project on the X Games. Whenever I first watched the X Games a couple of years ago, I knew what I wanted to do for my portfolio project. I conducted research through National Geographic, um, the X Games, and ESPN. I interviewed Olivia Wilson, who works for communication with ESPN for the X Games, and she helped me with a lot of good research. Um, this is my artifact. I made the X Games logo out of two by fours, plywood, and painted it. Um, for my service project, I held a bike drive that I plan to donate to Two Bikes, which is an organization that refurbishes bikes and then donates them into the community. Um, my, some challenges that I faced were painting the artifact because of how big it is. And in conclusion, I have learned very much from the X Games and all my research, and I'd like to thank my parents for helping me, and Mr. Drewies, my mentor, and I've learned a lot from this project. Hi, I'm Sophia Garza, and for my portfolio project, I chose the topic of calligraphy and hand lettering. I chose this because I've always been really interested in hand lettering, and I've always found it such a fun thing to do. So for my research paper, I tried to I decided that I was going to trace and discuss the history of calligraphy and how it's evolved to become what we recognize as hand lettering today. I, I got to interview Eleanor Winters for this. She's a calligrapher who has works and books regarding the subject, and I was so fortunate to do so. Um, I decided to write a book about, about how to do calligraphy and hand lettering so that was really fun <laughs> but yeah so I that's it <laughs> and so for my service I made cards for the mobile meals program and sent them out oh and I think thanks my mom and my dad for like letting me do this hobby it's a lot of paper a lot of pens so thank you for doing that and support me with it. Hello, I'm Avery Burgess, and throughout my life, I have been interested in animals and conservation biology. So I saw my portfolio project to, as an opportunity to share my views and educate people about the illegal wildlife trade. Uh, I researched mostly online and found very helpful sources like National Geographic. I got to do three interviews, one with Michael Ogle, who's a herpetologist at Zoo Knoxville, one with Dr. Jennifer Miller, who works at the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and lastly with Dr. Meredith Gore, who is a conservation biologist and criminologist. Uh, for my artifact, I decided to make scale models of some commonly traded items in the illegal wildlife trade of clay. I made irradiated tortoiseshell, two penguin scales, and an elephant tusk. For my service project, I collaborated, collaborated with the zoo to make animal enrichments. I cut a small piece of cardboard and kids draft the lower school and middle school aftercare, created art with the pieces, and I made enrichment out of those. There were multiple challenges I faced, but the greatest was my service project. For months, I was completely stuck on an idea for what to do, but finally, after lots of procrastination, I came up with the idea and executed it. I've learned many things, but I've learned mostly a new level of respect for animals and a stronger passion to advocate for their rights. Uh, I would like to thank Ms. Lancaster, my parents, and everyone who contributed to helping me with this project, whether it was moral support or contributing ideas for assuring this project would be possible. Hi, I'm Will Bevere, and for my portfolio animation, I created a portfolio project I created in animation uh, from one of my favorite shows. And I chose animation because I grew up with a lot of animated shows and I was really interested in it. I looked about a lot of, I looked on a lot of YouTube animations and I thought it was really inspired. Um, for my service project, I made the animation for the guidance counselor, Mrs. Ross, and it's about the tribal agreements we learned in school. And uh I never thought I was going to like animation, but it turned out to be a really fun project, and I thank Mrs. Lancaster and my 
Hi, my name is Aileen Frazier and my portfolio topic is history of the SEC. Some questions I have to ask on my project was who are some interesting players, interesting coaches, and mascots. And then on my essay, it was not very difficult, but my gram I had lots of grammar mistakes and it was very annoying to fix all of them. My uh, artifact is uh, a football trophy made out of spray paint and uh, paint in general. And then I did all the teams on like on glued on. And then my service project is I made a ghost of Ice presentation about sportsmanship to the game. Like so younger younger kids can listen to it and say, oh, that's what sportsmanship is. Not just saying good job and so on. It can be outside community. And then I want to thank my parents and my teachers and my friends and then my interview was with Andre Lott, who's a now a high school football coach, and he's very interesting. He used to play for Tennessee. Thank you. Hello, my name is Wilson Shaver, and this is a scale model of Fort Lauderdale. Dam. My motivation for this project was, um, I mean, I have the Fort Lauderdale Lake in my backyard, so I just kind of wanted to do it because it seemed easy. Um, um, I interviewed Trisha Ranoffs. My service was the uh, I cleaned up the shores of the dam and I um, I uh, threw away all the trash that I got up from the shores of the dam to the lake. And um, I got four hours in from that. And um, but some of the challenges I faced in this were finding a good day to be outside, uh, finding the materials to make this. And, uh, the materials to make this were styrofoam, rocks, cardboard, um, fake railroad, and fake grass. And um, yeah. Hello, my name is Bruno Webster, and I did my portfolio project on the contribution of Pueblo the Navajo people. And my reason behind it was because I like World War II history. I think it's kind of cool, and I like helping other people. I noticed how the Navajo Indians were a big part of it by code talkers using to transmit code that was unbreakable at the time so they could tell the rest of the allies what was going on. And I also noticed how, due to the coronavirus, they're really struggling, and most of them don't have running water or electricity. So I constructed research on what the Nova Co Code Tigers did, uh, where they were dispatched, what their training was, and how it affected their lives. My two favorite researchers was uh, Dr. Lloyd L. Lee, who is a professor in Native American Studies at the University of New Mexico, and Pastor Aaron Jim of the, uh, of the Tehachi Baptist Church. So my artifact is a little radio I constructed because the code talkers used radios to contact the Allies during World War II, and it was very useful. So for my service project, I collected uh, five gallon buckets and food. So what would happen is we would put the uh, food it was certain food items, not just random. You put the food in the buckets, and then you would send it to the Navajo Indians, and when they received it, they could eat the food and then use the buckets to collect water. And in the end, I collected 865 pounds of food and spent over seven hours putting it together. I had many challenges overcoming this project. Uh, so first of all, uh, my radio, I had trouble <laughs> figuring it out because I've never done a project like this before. But once I figured it out, it was pretty easy. And I've learned a lot from my portfolio project about research and constructing a paper and getting to meet really cool people and doing fun things with friends and family. And I think it's been a really good experience. My main motivation was my fascination with computers. I really got into computers in fifth grade and ever since I had my eyes under my portfolio project on the evolution of computers. 
It was difficult to research my topic because there were so many builds of computers to base the research on. So I interviewed my grandfather because he knows a whole lot about Apple and they play a huge role in the computer industry. Uh, for my artifact, I made a customized lighting system uh, inside of the computer and I built the computer. And it took quite some time for me to download the software and figure out how to do everything. Um, I did a book drive and collected as many books as I could. Then I went to McKay's and traded the books for money. Then I donated the money to the Church of the Good Samaritan so they could buy a new computer for their computer lab. Um, finding information about computers was hard. Uh, I based my research on the average computer build at that time. And I've learned a lot about computers and how they work during my project. This project has been really fun and it's been really cool learning about how all the components work together. I'd like to thank my mentor, uh, Mr. Tannhauser, or Mr. Tannhauser, my mom, and Ms. Lancaster. Hello, my name is Christina Taylor and I did my project on shark attacks. Uh, I've always had a love for sharks. They're quite interesting to learn about, about their skin and regenerative teeth. Um, they're a lot of people fear them for what they know about them, like they're attacking people. Um, I've usually wondered why sharks attack people, but I haven't really researched it through or asked anyone about it until I did this project. Um, I researched how and why sharks attack people and how they glide through water and different species of sharks. Uh, one shark that I was most interested about was the Megalodon. Um, the Megalodon is the world's largest shark known to mankind, and Megalodon means big tooth. Uh, my artifact was a short video about shark attacks, how to prevent them, and how sharks are endangered. Uh, different species of sharks and my favorite type of shark, the Megalodon. Uh, I got some of my information about sharks from my research project off the uh, National Geographic and other resources on the internet. For my service project, I contacted TWRA and TVA um, about an island on the lake called Bird Island to see if they could talk about the birds on the island. I planned on taking the uh, kids at Kingswood home for children. Uh, we took some boats out to Bird Island so we could inspect and learn about it. Uh, it was some challenges I had was contacting TWRA and TVA. They weren't the best at uh, replying uh, and the weather and COVID since that happened, uh, but it all worked out. I have learned so many things about sharks, their ha about their habitat, and anything related to sharks. All the par uh, parts were and are beneficial to me, uh, and I would like to thank Dr. Talent's daughter for helping me get an interview. Thank you. My name is Matthew Arning, and I did my research project on the D-Day invasion. I chose to research D-Day because I'm very interested in World War II, and at the time when I started my portfolio project, I did not know much about the topic and I wanted to learn more. During my research, I had trouble finding many credible sources, however, I found many, many websites and books that helped me in my research. For my artifact, I created a scale map of Normandy, France at the time of D-Day. I painted the map according to the towns and troops in that area. For my service, I did the drive for veterans and I collected various items from them. Most of the items were basic household items that veterans needed. Um, I originally planned to do a service project at the Veteran Cemetery, however, we were not able to get a response from the cemetery, so I decided to collect household items for veterans instead. I also had trouble finding a, um, an interview, although I was able to interview a professor at UNC. In conclusion, I learned a significant amount about the D-Day invasion and about World War II in general. I did not know much about the topic, but I now know about a lot of D-Day and World War II. My name is Tim O'Daly and my portfolio project was an analysis of the office. My motivation for this was because the office was very popular and I enjoyed it a lot when I was younger and still somewhat to this day. My methods of research was I found many articles from the early 2000s and the late 2010s and used many 
sources from when the show was airing and analytics from when it was airing. My artifact I made is a little clay sculpture of the main character, Michael Scott. And I made this almost represent what a real person would make, which is something that is not good or bad, in the middle, like an average person. My service project was I had a, a cardboard cutout of Michael Scott in the conference room, and people could donate one dollar to take a picture of him, and the money went to the Austin Foundation. My main challenge was finding an interview, but I did find one with Daniel Chun, who was an executive writer of the show, and he gave me a lot of valuable information. Overall, I learned a lot about my service project and a lot about people in general. Hello, my name is Dylan Vermillion. For my portfolio project, I did the history of the Southern United States cuisine. For my interview, I interviewed Paula Dean, who is a Southern cook who lives in Southern U.S. and has multiple restaurants in the Southern United States. For my artifact, I did a timeline spanning from the 1800s all the way to the early 2000s. For my service, I donated money to the Second Harvest Food Bank, and I also made cookies and brownies for a recovery center in Knoxville. For for my ch the challenges that I had to overcome was obviously making my artifact and coming up with good ideas for service. And overall, I had a great time making this. And another challenge I had to overcome was in getting an interview. Most of the people I tried to interview would either decline or just not respond to general. This project has helped me juice out all the inf possible information from a subject and always go to the maximum amount of effort. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Kim, and I did my portfolio project on the history and evolution of rowing. So I chose this topic because I'm super interested in rowing, and I'm actually on a rowing team. And also, I like look forward to rowing in college, hopefully. I was kind of far away, but still. So I wanted to learn more about like college rowing and also Olympic rowing and also the history of rowing and like all the parts and stuff of the boat and just mainly everything about rowing just to know as much as I possibly can. And I was gonna do something about music because I also love music, but then I just decided to go with rowing because I knew it would be more helpful in a way. Um, so I mainly just use websites for my research, for my uh, paper and I researched basically everything about it. And so for my artifacts, I built this boat out of uh, marine grade plywood, uh, a, like epoxy, resin, and uh, fiberglass tape. And also I covered the entire thing in fiberglass. And uh, it took over 100 hours to build and it's about 24 feet long-ish, I think. I don't know, that's what it said. <laughs> um, and for my service, I did like a, I raised money for my uh, rowing club, it's called TriStar Rowing, um, in order for us to build a new boathouse. And we raised about $1,000 for them. And um, our club did like a thing where we rowed, I think it was 10,000 meters, and we did like cool video for promotion for it. And um, there were many, many challenges, especially when it came to creating the boat, because many parts were breaking, many things like just, we had a trouble with because it took so long and it was such a big thing. So those were my challenges when it came to like the boat. Things like pieces broke, like lots of things happened. But all in all, this was like a super cool experience and I learned a lot about like woodworking and also helped with my time management for like writing the paper and organizing things for like the service project. And I also would like to thank my grandfather, my dad, my cousin and Miss Lancaster for helping me through this entire process. So thank you so much for your time. My name is Cooper Sprouse and my, art, my project is on costume designing and helping characters come to life. I've always been interested in how fascinating it is to design and create costumes. It is truly awesome. I also have grown up around it since my, my aunt makes costumes too. The interview helped me because I did with my aunt who makes costumes for movies and she had the information I needed. It was also fun to talk to her. I customized a shirt and made it look cool as in my favorite movie, The Extreme Gym. For my service project, I printed pictures of superheroes and colored them with the lower school and had fun doing it. The main challenge I faced was timing. I had difficulty using my time wisely 
and finding out what I should do with my project. The most important thing to me on this project was talk to my aunt because I got to talk to her more about making costumes and it helped me a lot making my own. It was cool to see the other side of movies and how long it takes to make them. My aunt helped me the most and really took me through the process of costume design.